Freddie Collins Music Company's motivation and ultimate goal is to utilize his music as an instrument that God uses to reach and touch lives for Christ. Our objectives for this campaign were performance, finding the audience, publicity, creating a buzz in the local media, and promotion, getting airplay for his music. After performing a series of interviews on the campus of Liberty University, as well as the Lynchburg area, we were able to define the target market, our audience, as 18 to 30 year olds, gospel music lovers, and Liberty students. The first creative tactic that we chose to utilize was the traditional method of magazine print ads. To be placed in local arts and entertainment magazines such as the Berg and Lynchburg Living, these ads would run consecutively and capture the essence of Freddie Collins' musicianship through simplistic design and powerful text. One of the characteristics we noticed about our audience is that they spend the majority of their time online, and one of the ways to capture their attention is through online web ads. In order to increase our click-throughs, we decided to utilize banner ads of the leaderboard and skyscraper variety, keeping the elements simple while giving a clear call to action. The Freddie Collins audience of 18 to 30 year olds are a fun, active bunch who are constantly on the go. Because of this, we decided to create two billboard ads located near highway exits that his audience would frequently drive past. We decided to use the fact that Freddie Collins' music is still relatively unknown and turn it into the theme of these ads, pushing passerby to want to find out who this Freddie Collins is. Next to album sales, concert promotion is the most important element of a successful artist marketing campaign. And what better way to promote a musical artist than on the radio? Strategically placing these ads on radio stations that his audience would listen to, we would air ads like this one. Hi, this is Freddie G. Collins, and I would love for you to join me this Saturday night at 7 p.m. at One Community Church for Benefit for Hope, a benefit concert for Smile for Africa. I will be performing a few original songs as well as some other great local talent. Admission to this event is $3, and all proceeds will be donated to the Hope House in Zimbabwe. For more information about this event and how you can support this ministry, please visit Facebook.com slash Freddie Collins Music. Can't wait to see you there. Placed on YouTube, as well as local television networks such as the Liberty Channel, for instance, we want to create a commercial experience that has an hour-long concert feel, but turn it into a 30-second spot. Our approach is to focus purely on the music by combining minimal dialogue with professionally shot footage from Freddie Collins' actual performances. This is the best way to expose his music to complete strangers and turn them into complete fans. Social media is an important aspect of all businesses these days, but especially in marketing towards those of the 18 to 30 age range. Our target is the most plugged into Facebook and Twitter, and we have decided to really take advantage of that by posting relevant information such as concert and album release dates and encouraging interaction such as hosting free downloads, question of the days, sneak peeks into recording sessions, as well as personal video blogs from Freddie himself. Our goal is to increase followers, fans, downloads, and drive up concert attendance. Developing a solid fan base is essential to the success of an upcoming artist, and the objectives of performance, publicity, and promotion can and will be accomplished with the execution and implementation of this creative strategy, and the most importantly, reach lives for Christ through music.